Hey what's up, welcome to this tutorial on MetaTags for WordPress websites. If you're new to website building, you may have heard about MetaTags before, but aren't sure what they are or how they can benefit your website. So in this video, I'll explain what MetaTags are and why they are important for your WordPress website. I will also show you how to add three important meta tags that you can easily manage with the Yoast SEO plugin. And by the end of this tutorial, you will have a clear understanding on how to use them to improve your site's visibility, user experience, and also SEO. So let's get started. And let me know from which country you are watching this from, because for me, it's cool to know a little bit more about my audience. And my goal is to help as many as people as possible for free, and preferably also from as many different countries as possible as well. Everything I offer is for free, but I would appreciate it very much if you would take two seconds of your time to support me. So hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and if you're interested in this type of content, also hit the notification bell so you will be updated when new videos are uploaded. Now let me explain what meta tags are and why they are important for websites. So basically meta tags are snippets of HTML code that provide information about a web page to search engines and also to other applications that read the page content. They are placed in the head section of the web page HTML code and provide metadata such as page titles, descriptions, and keywords. Meta tags are important for websites because they help search engines understand the content and purpose of a web page, which can improve the website's visibility and ranking in the search engines. By providing accurate and descriptive meta tags, website owners can help ensure that their pages are shown to users who are searching for relevant information. Meta tags also help to improve the user's experience by providing a brief summary of the page content in the search results, which can also help users quickly decide whether to click on the link and visit a page. So in this tutorial, I will show you three important meta tags for SEO that you can easily manage with the Yoast SEO plugin that you can use for free. And the meta tags that I will cover in this video are the title tags, which is also known as the SEO title. And that is the name of a page or post in the search engines. I will show you an example a little bit later in this tutorial. The next meta tags is the meta description tags, and that will describe the page or post in the search engines. And the last one is the robots meta tags. And that is to index a page or a post or not for the search engines. And to manage these meta tags, you need to install and activate the Yoast SEO plugin. And I have already created a complete tutorial about the Yoast SEO plugin, how you can install and how you can activate it and how you can optimize pages and posts for the search engines. If you're not familiar with that, make sure to check that out. But to summarize it real quickly again, I will show you. So I will go back to the WordPress dashboard. There you can click on the plugins option and you can just click on it or you can go to the add new option, which is shown over here and click on it. So in this case, I want to show you how to add a new plugin in case you haven't installed Yoast already. So click on add new, then you will go to this overview. Here you will see this search bar, which says search plugins. There you can enter Yoast and you can spell it like this. Then you will see this plugin appear, the Yoast SEO plugin. It has over 5 million active installations. So it's a very popular plugin. You can see it has a five star rating and it's last updated two weeks ago. So make sure to install and activate this plugin. I have already done that. If that's not the case, the only thing you have to do is you have to click on the install now button, which will appear over here wait a couple of seconds, then it will say activate and you have to click on it and then it becomes activated and it will also appear in the left menu over here. So that's the first step to install the Yoast SEO plugin. So now let me walk you through it step by step and I'll start off with the title text. So I will go to the post overview over here in the menu. So I click on it. Over here you can see an overview of all the posts that I have created for my website. And you can edit a post by clicking on the edit button that will appear if you hover over it. So click on edit. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see a couple of options that have been added by the Yoast SEO plugin. Over here, you can see the focus key phrase. And the focus key phrase is the main keyword that you want to optimize this post for. And in this case, it's Elementor email list. So that's why I've entered it in this field. I won't go too much in detail on how to optimize pages and posts with all the other uh, features in Yoast. So that will be covered in the other tutorial I've made. You can find it on the channel. But in this case, I want to show you 
the title text or the SEO title. You can find that one over here if you scroll down, scroll up a little bit. So here you can see the SEO title and this is the one that you need to set the title tag. And over here you can see preview S by default it's set to mobile result. And over here you can also set it to desktop result. So this is a preview of the SEO title or also known as the title tag. And below that you can see this short uh, description and this is the meta description and I'll cover it also in a few seconds. So for the SEO title, you could use variables to create the SEO title and I have done it also. I have set the title variable and the title refers to this title over here. And the reason I have set it to title is because if I would enter the title manually in this field and let's say I would change the title over here uh, a few weeks later, for example, then I would also manually have to change it over here. But if I set the title variable, then it's auto then it will automatically refer to the title over here. So if I change something over here, then it will automatically be the case for the SEO title or the title tag. So that's why I've set the title variable. And a few tips I want to give you about the SEO title is to add the keyword in the SEO title that you want to rank for and preferably somewhere in front of the sentence. And also make sure that the length is correct. And if that's the case, you can see that the bar is colored green over here. And if it's too long or too short, it will become red. So always make sure that the title length is good and that is shown by the green colored bar. So always make sure that the SEO title is good and that the bar is colored green as you can see over here. In the preview, you can, you can also see how it will appear in the search engines on the mobile and also for the desktop view. So that's basically the most important thing is the length of the SEO title and make sure that the keyword that you want to rank for is mentioned preferably in the beginning of the SEO title. So that's how easy it is to set up the meta title or the SEO title with the Yoast SEO plugin. And the next important meta tag that I will cover in this video is the meta description. And the meta description is a short piece of text that allows you to indicate what the post or the page is about. So basically it's a quick summary. And with Joe's you can easily enter the meta description in the field over here. The tips I want to give you for the meta description is also to use the main keyword that you want to rank for in the meta description and also preferably in the beginning of the description and make sure that the length of the meta description is also correctly. So make sure it's not too long or too short. And how you can see that is again by the green colored bar. So if the bar is colored green, then the length of the description is good. So make sure that's the case. And again, over here, you can see a preview for the mobile and the desktop view. So that's basically everything you need to know about the meta description. You can set it up for pages or for posts with the Yoast SEO plugin and it's very easy to do. And the last one I want to show you is the robots meta tags and I will show you how you can manage this with the Yoast SEO plugin. So therefore we need to go back to the WordPress dashboard. So I'll go to the option over here. Now let me scroll down over to the Yoast option that you can find here and you can go to the menu that you will see when you hover over it and then you can click on the tools option. So click on tools. And the next thing to do is to go to the file editor option and below it already says this tool allows you to quickly change important files for your SEO like your robots and if you have one your HD access file. So click on file editor and then the robots text file will be shown. You can see it over here and you can enter the content of your robots file over here in this field. And the robots text file is a file that tells search engine robots which pages or files on your website they can or cannot access. And it's a simple text file that is placed in the root directory of your website and search engine robots will look for it automatically when they crawl your website. And the robots text file can be used to block certain pages or directories from being crawled by the search engine robots. And the robots text file can be used to block certain pages or directories from being crawled by search engine robots. And this can be useful for preventing sensitive information from being indexed by search engines or for blocking duplicate content that could harm your website's SEO. And by default, you will see it's set up like this. And this means that the website can be indexed by crawlers from search engines. 
but if you want to block all the search engine robots from crawling parts of your website you can change this text over here and I will make sure to add this code in the description of the video as well so if you change to this and you click on save changes to the robots text file then the search engine robots cannot crawl your website and that's the case for the complete website but if you want to block a specific page or directory you can also do that by adding this line in your robots text file you can change it to so in this case i have set it up that this specific post cannot be crawled by the robots from the search engines so in this case it's only one post but let's say if you have several posts uh, for example three posts that you want to exclude then you can add the code like this you can see this allow for the post that i want to exclude from the search engines you can add as many posts as you want of, uh, obviously so in this case for this example i've just used three but you can add as many posts as you want to so again make sure to save the changes to the robots text file because if you don't do that the settings won't be saved and if you want to set the robots text files back to the default settings again or to the basic settings then you can adjust this text and you can replace it with the default one so now it's like this again so now you know some important basics about the robots text file and how you can configure it with the yoast seo plugin and that brings us to the end of this tutorial if you have any questions ask them in the comments and i'll try my best to answer them as soon as possible hopefully you've learned something new about meta text and now you know why they are important for seo and how you can manage them and if you want to learn more about seo and how to completely optimize posts and pages for a specific keyword make sure to check out the tutorial on my channel that i've created earlier about that also with the yoast seo plugin you can find the link in the description of the video and don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and if you don't want to miss out on any new videos make sure to click on the notification bell so thank you for watching have a nice day and i'll see you back again in the next tutorial